15, good run out for the boys and two solid goals. What can you take from the game? Win and habit, which is good. Uh, no injuries, which is excellent. And we've had a brilliant second week of pre-season. Um, so yeah, uh, positive performance, tested at different stages within the game, which is good. Different tests physically, athletically. And um, yeah, I'm just delighted that we've continued to win. So obviously a few new lads in the squad, a few trialists. Any lessons learned from these guys? Yeah, definitely. I think some of the younger lads, they have to realise that, you know, they're probably looking at the conference out and thinking it's the league below, it's easy. It's not. Some of them today are taught. Did OK and can do better, but they've got to learn mortgage football. I think it's vital they get themselves out on loan, which is sort of the plan as a football club is to get a certain amount of young lads out on loan, So, um, which will be good progress for them. Um, so, yeah, that's one lesson I've learned in trying to teach the young lads, but we have to obviously sort of gel the team together as well. We mixed the teams up today um, just because of the numbers we had. So um, I think we'll get a little bit more serious towards selection sort of when we start playing Peterborough and, uh, and sort of building partnerships and combinations. At the minute, it's still about players' individual fitness. And obviously we are a few weeks away. What is the general fitness? What's the mood in the camp like uh, between your staff and the players? Yeah, a lot of good camaraderie. Obviously, our football club's done a fantastic offer. A boy won't get one free, which is amazing. We want to be inclusive of supporters. I've said that from day one to come in sort of the hot seat. And uh, they were brilliant again today, our supporters. They got right behind us. And uh, I know ticket sales are going really well. So it's great. There's a real good feel factor. We've signed some good players over the summer. And now it's over to me now to make sure that we, uh, we win football matches and we try to bring success back to the football club. 100%. And obviously you said you alluded to the fact that there are a few potentially going to go out. Whereabouts on the pitch do you want to see strengthened maybe in the next few weeks? Yeah, we've got a plan in place. Um, you know, myself and, and our chairman, we speak all the time about it. So we've just got to be patient now. We've got to make sure any players we bring in are much better than what we've got. That's vital. And the players will see that as well. So, you know, I don't think we're too far away. We're 90% done. Um, we've just got to be patient and make sure, like I say, they're the right players and the right characters for their environment. Absolutely. And looking forward to the next match, obviously, Tuesday night, Wingate and Finchley. What are you looking forward to that you didn't necessarily see today what are you hoping to see on Tuesday night that you may have not seen this afternoon I'd like us to control the game with the ball better I think that's important um, especially after er early in the game when the game starts frantic we can be a little bit more streetwise in that department but you know we move on to uh, I think we play 40 minutes now so it's 120 minutes uh, the session will be or the game will be so um, I'm looking forward to that see the stamina, stamina level so the lads have tomorrow off we're back in Monday we work really hard Monday with a double sesh and then we'll We'll play on Tuesday. The lads will have Wednesday off, and then we'll be walk out again Thursday, Friday, and then go against Peterborough. So it's an exciting week. We're looking forward to it. Amazing, Dean. Thank you so much.